Okay, time now to welcome our first guest, Rich Bracken. Thank you for good being morning. here. Good morning. Good to see you. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. Good to see you. I'm on the chocolate chip cookie dough train okay, as well. That's see, my it's a favorite. pretty good choice. Yeah. It's a I appreciate good that. Well, for people who aren't familiar, Rich is a motivational speaker and executive coach, and you're joining us for another 1% Better segment. It's yes. kind of helping us with motivation on our Mondays. Yeah, yes. and sometimes Mondays are kind of the worst to get your motivation juices flowing. Uh, but we're talking about ways to make your days more efficient, too, productive mm -hmm. and focused. So what do you, first of all, why do you think productive? productivity is so low to begin with for people? Well, there are many different reasons. I think one of the main ones is that we are trying to do too much. We're trying to take on all the things. We're trying to respond to all the notifications. We're trying to make everybody happy except for ourselves. So we're not doing a good job of prioritizing things, which we'll talk about how we can do that better. Mm -hmm. But really, it's trying to take on too much. We're trying to impress too many people. We're trying to make oh other gosh, people yeah. too happy. We're not putting ourselves first in that mix. Yeah. It's exhausting. It is It's a exhausting. very exhausting thing to do. So how would you recommend that someone get started and maybe restructuring their day to be more productive? Absolutely. There are many different ways. And I think, first of all, it's it's not trying to change everything at once. Take okay. little baby steps. Pick one day a week that you're going to say, this is my day for productivity. I'm going to restructure how I do things. I'm going to set some boundaries. We're really bad at setting boundaries as well. So making sure that we have that one day that we can focus in on and figure out what you need to do, prioritize your to-do list instead of saying, I'm going to do all the things, pick off a couple of things that you can build some momentum with because we typically think that we have to get into everything. We have to solve all the problems at once and we have to take on all the to do's and it's just never ever going to be the same if we try to if we try to focus on the big things as opposed to the little things. I think I get in my head a little bit about that too where it's like you have to fix everything all at once and it yeah. becomes overwhelming at that point and then you start hitting the gas the other direction you're like well I'll just back off until everything is is absolutely perfect to right. get it in there. Right. Would creating a schedule or something like that help out with that? Absolutely and there's one I think we showed a graphic of it but there's a way to structure your day in a way that is very productivity uh, productivity heavy for you. Yeah. Start your day off with creative things. I'm super creative in the morning. I come up with all my really good ideas, the ones that I do have <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. Um, but I focus on that in the morning. And so really focusing in where your energy is and maximizing that time is critical. And then move on to the things that are going to take more social energy. Because when we start our days being social outside of us, mm -hmm. we tend to be depleted more. So we're, we're focusing in on meetings and emails and things like that. Move that through the afternoon. That's when you're not using as much brain space. That's when you're trying to save your energy for the afternoon. And then in the evening, find something that you can learn from. To listen to a podcast, read an article, pick up that book that you've been wanting to read for a long time. I've got a whole shelf of them. Oh, yeah. But focus on that knowledge because we're more likely to absorb more towards mm -hmm. the end of the day when mm -hmm. we're at rest. Yeah. So focus on that time then. Okay, well, what would you say maybe are some of the traps that kind of hinder us from being as productive as we would like to throughout the day? Yeah, I, I touched on it just a second ago, the, the notification trap yeah. and then the lack of boundaries. Ah. So with your, and, and guilty as charged. Yeah, right? I'm like, all so, right, well, I'll and, do that. Uh, exactly, so. and it's a work in progress. So I, when we focus in on the things that we need to do, turn off your notifications, close some of the windows that you've got because we sit down, and I'm guilty of this too, where I'll sit down to work on a project, but I've got six or seven windows and 27,000 tabs mm -hmm. open. Focus on the thing that you need to do, focus on the one thing, close everything else out. But then going back to the boundaries, figure out what's important to you and set that boundary and don't apologize for that because that is your time. So many of us give in to the other people and we give in to people's needs because we feel like we have to. We don't want to say no. We don't want to be the one that puts up the, the wall. Yeah. But if you focus in your time at that time, you're going to get more done and you're going to be more fulfilled as an individual. Yeah, and I feel like it's even harder to do that these days, put up those boundaries because we've got our cell phones and we there's always access to us so because mm -hmm. there's constant access you feel like you have to always be readily available whereas yes. before you know we had cell phones and all those things it was like no if you don't if I don't answer the phone when you call me I'm busy yeah. Yeah. and that's okay so it, it's very hard to kind of maintain those boundaries and you still get phone calls <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> let's, let's, let's address that, that first, first right public service announcement don't call me <laughs> <laughs> turn it into 1994 yeah. turn it into 1994 <laughs> don't worry about all the other things well obviously these are great suggestions yes. but what are some of the things that we're going to see as far as benefits go if we start implementing some of this stuff into our lives yeah we're going to be more productive we're going to be less stressed because we're getting more things done because when we're trying to please other people and we've got our to-do list in the back of our head we have that back of head um, stress and anxiety that's pulling on us all day long. 
we're also going to be more focused on what we're doing. Because if, we, if you're trying to do anything, anybody that says they can multitask is a liar. <laughs> Nobody can multitask. You cannot. <laughs> Nobody can do that. So when we're, t when we're focused on one thing at a time, we get more done. And you're going to have more at, at work and things like that, where you're going to have more productivity and happiness out of your workers. But individually, we feel better about the things we get done. It feels really good to accomplish things. But if you're working in 27 different directions at 10% effort, yeah. you're not going to get that done. See, I told you, I like lists. I know it was I know, really, and we've yeah, got lists on the yeah, screen right now that shows list. you like <laughs> one of the actual benefits that are going to help you be more structured. I mean, man, yeah. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, the 400% so increase in creativity. I mean, that that alone that's beautiful. is huge. I think yeah, anyone would huge. want to sign up for that. Yeah, it's a huge exactly. change in your life. Yeah, for Absolutely. Sure. Well, Rich, thank you so much for being here thank and you. keeping us motivated on this mon uh, Monday. Tell people where they can find you and follow along. They can find everything at richbracken.com. Uh, I've got a new website coming, so stay Ooh. tuned on that. I know, new fancy look on it. <laughs> uh, coming soon, so be sure to follow me at richbracken.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much.